In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get started with Loom. Loom is a great tool to have in your pocket. Loom can help with training new hires, updating clients on projects, and even leveling up your email game. Now, let's jump into my computer and head over to Loom. All right, guys, now that we're on my computer, we're at loom.com. And to get started with Loom, you're gonna to go to get Loom for free up here in the top right corner. From here, you're gonna sign in with Google or put in your email. And once you do that, I'll meet you on the other side. All right, guys, so now this is your, your Loom home dashboard. And before I get started and show you guys how to use Loom, I just wanna show you guys the different plans they offer. And like I mentioned before, I'm on the free plan. So this allows for 25 videos and a five minute recording length. So if you're gonna end up going over those, the 25 videos are five minute recording, then you're gonna to switch to the business plan. Besides that, the free plan is gonna be all that you're gonna to need to get started. All right, so we're back in our dashboard again. And as you can see, my camera's turned off this time because we're gonna be starting a Loom recording soon. So I'll pop back up in a second. So to invite team members to your Loom account, you could either click on this right here, send an invite, or you go to your workspace on the left here and you can invite teammates. So you have two options there. So our home, we have that, our library, this will show all of our, our recorded videos. And in the library, you could actually, if you click here, you can copy the link. So all you have to do is you give somebody that link right there. There you could share with your team members these. Or if we click this, we can share it, rename it, we can move it to a different location, we could duplicate it, we can archive it and delete it. And then over here, we can see all of our archived videos. And then if we click down in notifications, we'll actually be able to see who's seen our videos on here. And then we have our watch later. So these are videos that we save to watch later. History, this will show you all of our previously watched videos in here. And then we have our settings to adjust the settings. So up here, this is pretty cool too. You have your search. So if you're looking for specific videos or anything, you could just go in the search here and type it in to be able to find your videos a little bit easier. And then to record our first video, off on the left, we're gonna go to record a video. Hey guys, I'm back. <laughs> and then off on the right here, we have some options. So first off, we wanna make sure our mic is working. So as you can see, as I'm talking, it's just bobbling away over here. And then we have our camera on, good. We could even verify over here, cool, we're on. And then here we have the options of what we actually want to show. So we'll just keep this on full screen. And then real quick, before we start recording, you could actually go into effects and we could blur our camera or we could have different colors here. But I'll just go to none. So also, before we start recording, if you go up here to the three dots and click on that, go to your settings. So you got your video quality, you could adjust that. You could have a recording countdown, which is a five second countdown to prepare you for your video. You have recording controls if you wanna be able to see those. Like as you can see down here, you have your stop, pause, trash, or you can restart the video. And then flip camera, where it flips the orientation, and then show recording time. As you can see down here, five minutes recording time. So once those are all good, we're gonna hit start recording. And it asks here what we wanna record. Right now it's showing two different screens for me because I have my external monitor all hooked up. So we'll click on this one, share. Oh, it's a three second countdown. And there we go. As you can see, our timer's going, we're recording our video here. Then all we're gonna do when we're done recording, we're just gonna click the, the stop down here. But if you're not done recording, you need just a little break, drink some water, walk the dog, whatever you're gonna do, you could just hit pause here your timers drop in, and then here you could actually restart your video too if you wanted. So we'll hit stop, we'll finish recording. Then if we go to our library, this is the new one we just recorded. And then once this loads, like I said, we can go in there, copy the link and share the link with whoever. We could rename it, and then here we could even create a new folder to make it easier to find. And then say we wanted to show a video recording to a client. We'll pretend we're gonna show something to the client over on this page. If we go to our Loom up here, we can start recording the page. So yes, Mr. Client, this is it. Blah, blah, blah. Cool, cool, cool. Good, so we're done with that. So we're gonna hit stop. 
and then we'll go back to our library. And there's the video we just recorded also to share with them. Well, and that's it guys, that's how you get started with Loom. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Or if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.